everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have my sister here with me and we are going to be unboxing and tasting the products in the Universal Yums box for November of 2022. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Universal Yums, they are a monthly international snack subscription where each month you try snacks from a different country. I believe this one is Italy. You'll, you'll probably have already seen it in the title, but I will say that for the December box, which is the next one, the holiday box, they do tend to have a bunch of different snacks from different countries that are like holiday-ish. So if you're thinking about signing up, just keep that in mind that next month will be kind of um, a mix of different things, but it's a really, really fun box. So we get the largest subscription size, which is the Super Yum box. It is $45 a month. Um, then there's the Yum Yum box for $29 and the Yum box for $17. Each of those come with less snacks. Um, so this one, the one we get has the most variety. And sometimes with like the smaller snacks, like the candies, you'll get more. So in this box, you might get four, whereas in the Yum box, you might just get two. So I will leave a link in the description box below in case you're interested in signing up. If you're new to my channel, welcome or welcome back. My name is Katrina. My sister's name is Rachel and we are Subbox lovers. We love sharing subscription boxes with all of you Subbox lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, food videos, things like that, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on a future upload. <music> that you're here today spending time with us tasting snacks and experiencing the foods of Italy when you open up the box this is what it looks like so there is this little card on top that shows the map of Italy on the back it goes over all the snacks inside where you can rate them and it has some more interesting information there then you get the pamphlet the pamphlet is really really fun um, it goes over everything that's in the box and why they chose it but there's also really fun information so you get so much more information on Italy um, it gives you some trivia about Italy. There's usually a recipe. So this month it is ragu alla bolognese. Um, and then there's also all of the nutritional information for all of the snacks as well. So first we're going to show everything in the box and just unbox everything. And then we're going to pick like a few of the snacks that have the most interesting taste to us. And we're going to do the little taste test. Okay guys, we're starting off on a bang. The first thing that we have are these, these are pesto and mozzarella flavored rings. Mozzarella is probably my favorite food. Um, and pesto, just, I love it love, too. <laughs> yeah. She has bought like a whole thing of mozzarella and just eaten the whole thing. Do we need to tell? Yes. So we're excited. Yeah. The next thing that we received is this here. This is the garlic and parsley bruschetta bites. Now we've had the Universal Yum subscription for a while. And so we've been, we've been to Italy a few times before. I mean, we've had the subscription like five years. Yeah. I mean, it's been a really long time. So you won't go to the same countries like quickly or whatever, just to say that. But we, I think we've tried these before or something similar the last time they did Italy. And I remember really, really liking them. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited for these. All right, up next we received pizza flavored corn rings. I mean, if you think of Italy, pizza pasta comes to mind. So this just screams Italy to me. I feel, I don't think we've had this brand, but I feel like we've had something Mm, I do think we may have had these exact ones before, okay. but I want to try them again because I love pizza flavored yeah. anything, so I'm very excited. Same. All right, up next we have something else I think from that same brand, and these are paprika potato chips. The bag is very interesting for a potato chip bag, but I like paprika potato chips. I can't tell if they're like crushed in transit, but paprika is like a big, like in Germany there's a lot of like paprika flavored things, yeah. so I'm excited. This is gonna remind me of Germany more than Italy probably, but it's still really nice. All right, so up next we're moving into some sweet things. These are cranberry and sesame cookies, mini cookies that taste like the fall. They look the, like little waffles. Yeah, they're like little waffle shapes. We definitely have to try these because, well, A, it said tastes like fall, and B, I mean, just look at them. I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah, same. All right, up next we have this here. These are Amoretti and almond cookies. Now our bag, kind of, it's not like ripped. It's like there's dust coming out of this, which means it's not fully sealed. So we are not gonna try these. Um, we'll contact customer service. They're usually good at sending a replacement um, when you have issues like that. Um, I remember getting these before and enjoying them, but again, it's, it was not sealed correctly, so I don't feel comfortable, you know, eating that. So there's a little bit of dust around. It's not like bad or anything like that, but just know their customer service is pretty good about replacing things if they do come like that. All right, so up next, we received mini almond biscottis. We love biscottis. I love almond flavored things, and so I have nothing bad to say. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, if they're mini, I mean, I'd like a full size, but it's fine <laughs> if they're mini. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope they're really, really nice biscotti. Yes. 
All right, up next, we're big gummy fans, so we're really excited about these. These are Italian fruit jellies. They are big frut. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't know what type of flavors are in here because it's like all in Italian. So I don't really, really know like what type of, oh, here it says it on the back. So it says strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, and gooseberry. Ooh, Ooh I want to try gooseberry. I want to try blueberry. <laughs> so, We've never received these before, so I'm so excited to try them. Yes. All right, so up next we received orange carrot cake, the Italian take on an old favorite. I love carrot cake. I love orange flavored like pastries and desserts and things like this. So I absolutely love this. I think we've received this before and it was delicious. There's like, it's like an orange carrot cake with a cream inside. I mean, it is not like cake texture. It's more like a little Debbie's kind of texture, if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, like a it's processed bakery. Exactly, item. but I'd still eat this um, in, in a probably two bites. Yeah. All right, up next we have a similar like prepackaged bakery item and this is a chocolate tiramisu cream cake. I'm a big tiramisu fan. I don't think she's as much, but um, I'm excited. Very Italian, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I personally like these little type of bakery pastry items. Yeah. So really excited to get that. Up next, we have a chocolate bar. This is a salted caramel milk chocolate bar made with buttery caramel and cookie bites. They look like little chocolate Ooh. cookie bites. So I think it's caramel on top and then like chocolate cookie crumble on the bottom covered in milk chocolate. I mean, you can't <laughs> go wrong with that. I kind of need that in my life <laughs> right now. Up next, we have another chocolate bar. This one is a hazelnut milk chocolate bar, so it's made with real Italian Ooh. hazelnuts. I, I am a fan of chocolate and hazelnut. I'm more of a fan of caramel and chocolate, but uh, I think that's probably really nice. Ooh, you can feel the hazelnuts like at the bottom of it a little bit, I Ooh, think. Oh yeah. So nice and chunky and crunchy and good. Up next, we have some Italian shortbread cookies. They're just, you can kind of see them through. They're just little mini ring shortbread cookies. Nothing really exciting, so exciting but still but yummy. Still yeah. All right, up next, we have the drinks. So they've like, a while back, they reduced the amount of snacks and have now included a drink. Um, this month, it is the Mole Cola. Now, I don't know if you get this in the other subscriptions or if it's just the Super Yum or how that works, um, but that's what it looks like. So it's a lightly sweet Italian soda. Um, I'm like, is this just like regular Coke? Like it, that's, it's giving me regular Coke vibes. Here it says, it's nothing like your typical American brand, American brand soda. This drink uses real sugar instead of corn syrup and has a mild flavor that's great for washing down all the yums you just ate. So I'm, I'm thinking it's just a regular cola just with real sugar. Okay, I, we will definitely have to taste this. <laughs> All right, and then we have the yum bag. So inside of this, it has all of the little candies. All right, so the first candy, we received four of them. They are milk chocolate with strawberry popping candy. I believe we've tried these before, yeah. and they're really good. I mean, you can't go wrong with chocolate and strawberry. The popping candy is fun. I think yeah. they got like a Halloween themed box one time and we got a whole bag of those. Okay. So I do really I do really like them, but we definitely had them before. The next thing out we have not tried before, and I am like, about to explode from excitement for these. Oh, let me not drop them. So we also got four, and these are milk chocolate popcorn bites. <laughs> they have salty popcorn cream in a chocolate shell. So I don't know if it's like popcorn cream or like, I don't know, I'm excited to try yeah. these. These sound really, really good and I cannot wait. Neither can I. All right, next up we received four of these as well. These are Italian fruit chews, the best fruity flavors of Italy. I believe they're toffee. It says, um, where does it say? It says, toffee on it so i think they're like fruit toffees um we received yeah. a strawberry i think this is apricot peach and orange i could be wrong it's saying it in oh, oh wait, no, no it's two it's two orange and a peach i think okay yeah they're in italian so i'm not really sure but i mean they sound yummy i don't really like the toffee i would prefer just a fruit chew i probably will enjoy them but mm -hmm. it's like I'm, we're definitely trying the gummies over those <laughs> All right, so we've picked 10 different snacks to try with you all, and we're going to kick it off with the mozzarella pesto things. I cannot wait. I mean, Ooh. Um, it kind of smells like a crouton. Yeah, it smells exactly like a garlic crouton. So they look like that. They're kind of thick. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, those are really good, really crispy. I definitely get the pesto. I will say they are tiny bit salty for my taste, but they're really good. I would eat that whole bag. I don't think they're too salty for my taste, so just okay. for reference. Yeah. Um, that's kind of the kind of bag you eat. Like those little like puff things, you just eat mm -hmm. the whole thing and don't realize it. Now Katrina was saying, and I agree, I feel like that could get stale fast. So you want, yeah. you, and you would eat them fast. It's not like they would the, sit there. Their crispiness is weird. And it's that kind where you feel like it, it will go stale quickly. The mm -hmm. flavor on them is really good. It's mm -hmm. more like dynamic there. Like in, it's more interesting than I thought it mm -hmm. would be. 
I love them. Yeah. All right, next up, we are going to try the pizza corn rings, I think they were. Ooh, they're red, but they definitely give like artificial Ooh, pizza. Ooh, they smell good. It's yeah. like pizza Pringles vibes. Yeah, exactly. They're very red, well, I guess orange. Holy moly, those are good. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. At first you get like that artificially taste and then it hits you with like this extremely, amazingly delicious marinara sauce yeah. flavor that is like, Wow, America does not do pizza flavor right. These are, I, I, maybe we haven't tried these before because I don't, that is incredible. Yeah. It is so good and has such a depth of flavor that you wouldn't expect to have in a snack like this yeah. at all. I'm very, very impressed and I want like 50 bags of these. It really tastes like an Italian chef went back in the kitchen and made up a homemade marinara and put it on top of a corn puff. I'm here for these. All right, up next we're gonna try the Pentosto bruschettas. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. It smells exactly it like garlic like bread. It looks like a mess, but it smells like garlic bread. Yeah. It looks like buttery and crispy. I definitely think I'm gonna make get crumbs everywhere. Like these are yeah. messy, so let's try them. Okay, I really, really like those. To me, they taste exactly like garlic bread. You get the garlic, you get kind of herbs. Um, it tastes like, you know when you, there's like the ends of a garlic bread when it's a little crunchy, like it's yeah. a little overcooked, but in a good way is my favorite part. That's what those taste like. They're just a crunchy garlic bread. Yeah, I really like them. I would say I prefer a softer garlic bread than this. Mm -hmm. I would say it doesn't taste like bruschetta to me directly. It'd be, it be, could be nice if you put a little tomato Ooh, sauce on top. Yeah, or and fresh tomatoes. mozzarella. Ooh, yeah, fresh tomatoes and the mozzarella. Mm. But these are definitely really, really good. I feel like too, they're kind of big, but if you crunch them up and put them over like a salad or something, Ooh. it could be really, really good as like a bruschetta crouton type yeah. situation so lots of fun things you can even crunch them up and put them as like breading on chicken or something so you can yeah. do a lot of things with them even if you don't want to just eat them as is Alrighty, up next we are going to try the cranberry and sesame seed biscuits that taste like fall apparently they give me um Velveeta vibes they're cute though they yeah. do give like mini Velveeta vibes so I'm yeah. excited oh they smell good yeah I can smell the cranberry I really, really like the flavor of them. They definitely give like Velveeta vibes. So if you really don't like Velveeta, you probably won't like these. The weird thing about these is that as you chew them, it makes your mouth warm. Like not spicy, but like there's a heat in your mouth. Yeah. I don't know if it's a sesame or something, but it was warming my mouth up. I ate a second one and it did the exact same thing where it's like fine at first and as you keep chewing it, like it feels really good in the mouth, but it's really, <laughs> I'm like, what is the science behind this that's making this? It's like, and you said it happened too. Yeah, but I only noticed it because she mentioned it. I don't think I would have noticed it otherwise. You're, if somebody knows science really well, like, was it the sesame? I don't know. I, like, that's crazy to me, but it made the mouth warm, so. But the cranberry flavor was there. The sesame seed flavor was there. Yeah. It kind of tastes like it had oats in it a little bit, like a Belvita, but yeah. yeah, really good. All right, up next we're gonna get some big fruits. All right, so there are different flavors. I've gone for the blueberry and she's gone for the gooseberry. All right, this is what they look like. They have like a sugar coating on the outside. Okay, so we actually went ahead and tried each flavor each. So it was blueberry, gooseberry, strawberry, and raspberry. They were good. I mean, fruit chews with sugar coating, can't really go wrong. Um, we'll go through each flavor. So I guess gooseberry, I really liked it kind of tastes like grape yeah we don't really know what gooseberry tastes yeah. like but it tasted like like a white grape to me yeah it was a little bit sour but not like it's not gonna make you pucker up like yeah. it's just like a tiny bit of sour blueberry, blueberry. was good it tasted it's, like a wild blueberry yeah it didn't taste like artificial blueberry it tasted yeah. like real blueberry to a certain extent yeah that was my favorite one but i love blueberries if you yeah. watched my subscription box sunday last week you probably saw me go crazy about some blueberry <laughs> things in that box in the boxes in that video but yeah love a good blueberry Very good yeah strawberry was disappointing it was good but it was so mild yeah you could barely taste the strawberry mm -hmm. maybe a little bit at the end so it was just sugary yeah and raspberry was okay it had a weird flavor it had a weird like it's like it hit you with like old raspberry mm -hmm. and then it got better but it was just a little bit weird but yeah. not, none of it was bad i will no. i will be eating all yeah of i would devour that whole bag i will say one positive note is it's not it didn't taste artificial at all they all yeah. tasted very like a real fruit but it was still sweet so it didn't taste you know bad so it was really good i i enjoyed them all right up next we are going to try the tiramisu cake okay so this is what it looks like it definitely gives me like little debbie's vibes not in a bad way but it's just like a little you know pastry thing <laughs> All right, this is what the inside of it looks like. That was really yummy. It definitely has like that little Debbie type of vibe to it. Yeah. It was not anything elegant. Definitely got a lot of chocolate, not really a lot of coffee. So to me, it didn't taste like churmy, so it just tasted like a, 
a light chocolatey little Debbie type of thing, but it was still good. Yeah, I agree exactly with her. It was good, but it was not tiramisu to me, cho very chocolatey. Up next, we are gonna try some biscotti. These are the cutest little mini biscottis ever. Oh my goodness. And they smell like almonds. They smell so good. Those were good. They were just a simple, basic biscotti. We both agree that we got a hint of orange, which I absolutely yeah. love. It was really good. Um, I do feel like they'd be good dipped in things. I mean, biscottis yeah. are meant to be kind of dry, crunchy, so. But they are meant to be eaten with like a coffee or a tea, which we didn't do, we just ate them as is, but they were still delicious. They were really good, yeah. All right, next up we have a cho the chocolate bar with caramel and um, like cookie. cookie crumble, cookie crisp. All right, so this is what it looks like. It has a high melting point, so it's like melting in our fingers right yeah. now. It was good, but I'll be honest, it was a little bit of a disappointment because like the packaging shows ooey, gooey, luscious caramel, and that was, dry, toasty caramel. It was not, the flavor is good. And I like the crunch of the cookie inside. The outside chocolate, not sure about the, it wasn't like the best chocolate ever. So not mad about it. It's a very sweet bar though. I'm like feeling yeah. that, like my throat is like, ah, cause it was like so sweet. I'm gonna say I was disappointed in that. I don't get, I give it a zero out of five star. I'm picky about my chocolate and it tasted old. The inside, it wasn't crunchy, it wasn't gooey. The outside chocolate was just really sweet and not, good quality chocolate to me. Sorry. <laughs> All right, up next we have our Serini popcorn chocolate balls. I cannot wait. I can't tell if I can smell popcorn through it or not, but I'm so excited to take a bite. You ready? Eh, they were okay. They weren't bad, they weren't good. I will say I didn't get popcorn yeah. flavor. They had crunch, like it had some crunchy pieces in it, but it was like a corn puff crunch, not a popcorn crunch. Oh, to me it was a popcorn crunch, but <laughs> I feel like there was slight butter, but it was just a lot of sweet cream, like what you'd expect, like just like that white milk chocolate, and it wasn't, yeah. it didn't scream popcorn to me, so it was really sweet too, like yeah. really sweet. I'm not mad at it, but I was like hoping for that like artificial butter flavor. Maybe, Same. but to be fair, maybe in Italy they don't have that. I don't know, but I mm -hmm. was hoping for that. All right, last but not least, we are going to try the mole cola. It smells just like cola. It's exactly like cola. Yeah. Okay, it looks and it smells exactly like cola. Yeah, it smells good. Mm -hmm. Well, it tastes like cola, but it's flat, which is weird because when I was going to take a drink, I was like, oh, this is like, seems like really intense because I was like getting the air from it. And then I drank it and I'm like, this is kind of flat. Yeah. It's a different kind of sweet, which I guess is because it has the real sugar. But I'm going to be honest, I think I prefer regular soda to this. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. And we're obviously drinking at room temperature, which may make a difference. But mm -hmm. it's kind of just like a flat or version of soda. So if you're somebody who doesn't like a lot of carbonation, this does have carbonation, but it's not as intense. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right. So those are all the snacks that we're going to taste today. I actually think this is a really strong, like, universal yum socks. Mm -hmm. My favorite are the pizza rings. What's your favorite snack? I think the uh, bruschetta. Nice. Um, all of it was really, really good. Curious, have you tried this stuff in the box? If you have, let us know what snacks are more interesting to you or not interesting. We would love, love, love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Again, next month is a holiday box, which we're super duper excited to unbox and share with you guys when that gets here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on a future upload. And we'll see you in our next video.